Uh, so, leading on from that question, a lot of history of Total War games, modding, all that sort of thing. What is your favourite faction in vanilla then? Because you have the Skippy Eye logo as your logo. So, I'm assuming, is it the Skippy Eye or? No, it's not. It's the Julii, man. I love the Julii. <laughs> um, I think the Skippy Eye, when Realm Remastered came out, I really just liked the way it looked. Um, yeah. I I have a history of changing my icon maybe every year, two years or so. I'm, I used to have an old Epirus uh, symbol back in yeah. the day. Um, I've had a, let's see, my first ever avatar was the vanilla Namidia avatar. Um, okay. And then um, I had a Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition Illyrian avatar. And then... Mm. Yeah, I just changed. I think that's still my avatar in Total War Center. And then, um, yeah, on uh, Discord, I think I started with, like, Epirus. And um, now I have the Skippy Eye for Rome Remastered. And so, you know, one day another icon's going to catch my eye and I might change it. So yeah. it's kind of like uh, just every now and then I like to change it. But no, and I, I think actually it kind of fits because being the Howler and you have, like, yeah. the wolf. I guess it kind of makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I, I do agree. The Skippy Eye logo is is really cool with the Romulus and Remus's mother, I guess, on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. They, I think EA got creative with yeah. how they wanted to do things. You know, they they did they did. I, I'm pretty sure they missed it with Skippy Eye. I think it should have been like uh, Scipio. It's not Scipio, but it's, there's like a they they did their Latin wrong. I read about right. that. I don't know what the Latin should be, but I know they did it wrong. And yeah. uh, some historian out there can probably correct me on that. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, do you have a favorite faction in the mod? Then, in the mod Ooh. as its current as its current version. Um, I, I guess I guess if if you have if it's different for both for. 0.4.2 and 0.5 then you can say both but i'm guessing it'll be the same um gosh that's a really good question man I, and it's funny like that you ask because i i think i'm so busy with yeah. making it i don't think about stuff like that um well i would say just off the top of my head um i like akaya um i think if i were to play i would yeah. probably probably playing as them just because they have an interesting military cool um and then um i'm always a sucker i am always a sucker for the underdog and so <laughs> um the boyation league yeah i kind of uh i kind of stretched our historians a bit by adding <laughs> these guys um because for me it was like well we're adding this and we're adding that how come we can't add this and it's like yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I have a little soft spot for the Boeotians. Mm. Um, Athens, I think, you know, just because Athens was so maligned at this time, yeah. they were not the Athens that people... So basically, um, I guess a broader statement would just, I like the underdog. I like the small yeah. guys. Rhodes, you know. Rhodes, yeah. I like to see them do good, and I like to play as them. Um, mm. Have you ever have you ever played uh, Crusader Kings 2 or 3? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I like to play as the Sammy people who are like <laughs> north of the north like yeah that is that is the like north of the, north. the obscure who the heck are these people kind of factions that's kind yeah. of my uh that's my speed so i think <laughs> uh, as we continue to add factions in the future there's going to be certain factions out there where i'm like oh yeah i really love these people and people are gonna be like who are they yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah fair enough that, yeah that's cool um so Linked to that, then it might not necessarily. It might be the same, but it might not necessarily be the same. Do you have a favorite f unit roster? And oh, added to that, a unit roster, a new one of which one of the new unit rosters is your favorite? Without without oh. offending tone too much. <laughs> oh, I won't offend with the answer. Um, my favorite would be f by far Bactria. Cool. Um, there's something about Bactria that captures everybody's attention. Yeah. I think there was a user once. He joined our server. He was kind of like, I don't know if he was irritated or if he's just trolling. I don't know. Mm. But he's like, what's everybody's deal with Bactria? Why does everybody love Bactria? <laughs> what's, what's so great about them? Oh. And it's like, well, you know, they're in modern day Afghanistan. Yeah. Um, the average person would never think that a Greek kingdom flourished 
um, in modern day Afghanistan based on like what the what we know of Afghanistan with like the wars and the the like how poor it is out there and like uh, you know nobody has been able to successfully invade it but Alexander did and he left a legacy there and the Seleucids couldn't control it and Bactria ended up becoming a thing and uh, they had a short history compared to some of the other kingdoms right but they uh, had a very interesting history and yeah. their color the this lapis lazuli blue mm. um, combined with some of their helmets and shields and the like you got so hyped up about those hetairoi i mean i am yeah. too i mean to have like this cataphract looking elite cavalry unit that can charge in with like a yeah. heavy lance but also shoot you from afar with bows uh, super cool and yeah i would say just like the epigonoi uh yeah. troops are really cool and just kind of how um I mean, and we haven't even gotten to like the Eastern and nomadic parts or the Indian parts of their yeah. roster, that, which will come in phases. So I think at the end of the day, they would have like the coolest roster. Yeah. I mean, those Hetairoid, pretty cool. I think it's just cool as a Greek, fa as a like Greek based faction, a Hellenistic faction, that you can have a horse archer cataphract unit pretty much <laughs> well you've just seen how well yeah then you should have seen how excited i was when we were adding the regions i'm like we gotta add this one, we, yeah. <laughs> let's add this one. please let's add this one like i'm like researching yeah. and if i see a map and i see a city i've never heard before mm. i'm like i'm submitting it in like put it yeah. in <laughs> so, we uh, need more <laughs> so something that a lot of people don't know about the uh about the channel as well i, I actually planned on doing bactria first rather than sparta and uh I started playing it on very hard, and <laughs> pretty much within 20 turns, I had a Parthian, two Parthian full stacks and a Saka Rauka full stack of horse archers just basically on my doorstep, and I was like, um, well, I think I might try a different nation, <laughs> and yeah, maybe bump it down to easy. hard. <laughs> they are not easy. Um, I, uh, so first of all, your first mistake was playing on very hard. Yeah, it's, it's play very, hard. very hard. <laughs> if it's a, so I always say, like, because I've worked on multiple mods, yeah. if it's an A Howl 11 mod, do not play on very hard. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's not worth it. You want a, the ideal difficulty is always to play on hard in the same with battle difficulty hard hard yeah. unless you're masochistic i yeah. mean unless unless you're like um you know legend of total war yeah. and you just want that impossible challenge uh go for it but if you're just like the normal player go for hard hard because um the ai the ai is better than you as far as bonuses are concerned but not to the point it's i guess it's more of a diplomacy thing on very hard the ai literally it's like their eyes go red and the only thing they think is kill player kill yeah. player and they will do everything at least on hard they're aggressive towards the player but they're not like unreasonably aggressive um but yeah. that doesn't stop them from breaking alliances with you and stuff no, i'm sure you've seen that, part of the campaign that as soon as you border them they yeah. they will attack you it's just kind of that's rome total war in a nutshell that's that's just a uh, total war diplomacy in a nutshell, really, isn't it? It's just if you're near someone, they'll attack you, <laughs> and uh, you're never going to get out of it until you've destroyed the whole faction or basically crippled them. Um, right. Exactly. So... And then once you cripple them, they'll ask you to be a protectorate and stuff, which I think is cool. And I guess that was an original feature that never really mm. uh, was made correctly. And so yeah, feral, but... it's like. The AI does a good job of kind of assessing your strength compared to theirs, and then they yeah. kind of treat you as such. So it's a little bit better than what it used to be, but it's still, like you said, it's it's total war diplomacy. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna do what they're gonna do, and you're just gonna have to beat them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, <laughs> and uh, well, do you remember? Do you remember when they first release it? Released it, and the uh, the compensation thing was. Uh, was an option. It still is an option, I believe, but I, I think it's just offering compensation. Well, we've gone through the favorite unit roster. Do you have a favorite unit then? Is that a, or is that going too specific? Um, a favorite individual unit by itself? No, um, I'm just running through all the units right now in my head. Yeah. Um, I honestly, I, 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 I don't really have a specific one. 
Yeah. Uh, I would say the Makamoy Swordsman. Cool. For the Ptolemies are pretty badass. Yeah. They have um they have like that Egyptian neck big huge necklace or whatever you want to call yeah. it. And they have the interesting shields and then some have helmets, some don't. Um I think Tone did an amazing job with that one. Yeah. Um uh, the Gucci Gilets. The Gucci Yeah, 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 yeah. The Gucci the Gucci guys are pretty good too. <laughs> um, they do look awesome. Most of the phalanx units, um, I'm, I love a good phalanx. Their their shields and the line of Thoraces from El Santo Padre, who's not even on our team anymore, but mm. he uh, made that from scratch basically and gave it to us. So big shout out to him. Um, those are really cool. Just like the individual laps and stuff like yeah so it's just cool kind of like to see how things can be um but yeah i'd say the phalanx units and then um those macamoy swordsmen so thank you very much for watching guys please like and subscribe all that good stuff it really does help the channel out check out the discord for the mods down below and the steam page ready to click that subscribe button on friday or you can subscribe already and uh, get playing it just to get your practice in before the new big mod comes out and uh, i will see you all guys on the next video